Hello Yu-Gi-Oh fans, it's Matt Duran here and bringing you a deck profile for Ritual Beasts. Uh, right now this is uh, this is the um, pre-April ban list, but the only change I've made is uh, Creature Swap. I'll be using the pre pre one in the in uh, the duels until the changeover. Um, but I'll only be changing Smash Deal for a Creature Swap. Creature Swap being as good as Smash Deal to be honest and it doesn't really harm the deck because you'll be hoping they'll be get banished and then you'll be able to reuse them with cavalry uh, uh well it used to be called cavalry um so yeah let me get through the deck uh, go back on the old one um so running free apelio as it's great for adding banishment fodder when you don't have d fissure or macrocosmos out or haven't used your fusions yet for contact fusion Vampengu, uh, that allows you to banish uh, one of your fusion monsters to send one of your uh, ritual monsters to the grave, uh, depending on which one you want to send. Um, you have to send one with the same name of that, so Epelio to Epelio, uh, Kanahaka to Kanahaka, and then Petolfin to Petolfin. Generally, I will send Petolfin first because Petolfin is out of all the ritual beasts. Uh, I don't use it as much. It's just in more drastic cases. I'll be using it to return stuff like Dante or something like that. Um, free Conahawk, essential, uh, using with Elder in conjunction with Elder. That that is the ultimate opening play you want to have an Elder and a Conarch because that gives you two pluses, one Steeds usually and one Cavalry when you're using Conarch. Um, because only two, only the two, only the two targets, um, out the two targets, only one of them has to hit the graveyard for you to add one card to your, to your thing. So you can chain its other effect to split. And then just have to just drop one, which can work in conjunction with Rampengu, as you won't get confused what what you've used. It, that's better in in real life duels because it can, it's kind of a mind block um, when using them in real in real life for me. Uh, whereas online, it's a lot easier because they don't show up. Then <laughs> I'm running two Happy Dancer because uh, in one I mute, I don't run MST in this, so I run Happy's Hunting Ground, which is basically double MST that turn mm. and also it works great in conjunction with Divine Wind but I don't run Terraform because these are just helpful bits they don't, they're they not the essential part of the deck so and it can also reignite the usage of of Wen and Lera um, One Petolfin is the, out of all of them were, is the use, most useless because it only retarget, it only adds it back to the hand. If you had, had it put it back onto the top of the deck, you would see more use, but no, it, it does not. <laughs> um, I should mention all of these can only be special summoned once per turn. That's how it, that's how the deck's limited. Um, and then we get onto the Tamers. When is the one who ba special summons a banished uh, ritual beast monster from your banishment zone, obviously. Um, and then we have Tamer, which is the Catasta of the ritual beasts, and Lyra, which is special summons from your graveyard, which is the Call of the Haunted of the ritual beasts. DDR, Caster, and Call of the Haunted there. <laughs> Then Regikai, a uh, staple card, and Snatch Steel as well, but which, as I said, we'll be switching for Creature Swap, which is done, uh, because it doesn't really harm the deck switching like that. Um, I also run as a nice little tech, uh, the seventh one, not expected. There's not there's not an actual draw power in here. It just I just did that deck deck fin with the Connor Hawks and Elders. So if I draw into it, I'm not I'm if I draw on turn one, it's uh, not going to be dead because I'm using a Utopia engine to something up. So I hope to bring out Utopia, then bring out Utopic Dragon. Um, but if I draw it later in the game, it's like. What, it's like what the fuck to the opponent because they won't expect it and I bring out um, C107. I, w I was thinking C101 but uh, with the banishment it's it's gonna be a bit uh, I don't I didn't like it um, so I went for C107 for the power to go against the Clifforts with 4500 attack I, even the strongest and not gonna be able to destroy that.
and with an effect to negate cat effects on the field until until the end of the turn. That's quite good as well. Um, we have Gold Sarcophagus, uh, very needed in this deck. Great to banish, um, one, uh, banish one of these to fuel the rest of them, although you probably won't add it to the hand. Or if you're in a bad position, maybe add your Regikai or your Macrocosmos or even Vanity. Um, three e -tellies. this is the reason why e -telly went up. Um, is because you can easily special summon one of those out and get and get all prepared for your Ritual Beast summonings. Uh, Defission and Macrocosmos, because Banishment does not hurt this deck. If it goes against Dark Matter, it's like, oh my god, yay, I want I want those cards banished. So that actually helps them, like Crush Card against something like Cliff, uh, against Necros, it won't really hurt them that much. Although it's still a powerful card, no, get me wrong, it's still a powerful card, but... Um, it won't hurt them as much as it would to like your Senju, they will be hurt quite bad, unless, especially if they're not running anything higher than 1500, that's not Kama 1 or Kama, um, Kama 2, uh, you know, you can target Kama 3 as well, um, but Kama 2 I'd say is the most likely one you get rid of, and then you've got, you've more or less lost the ability to attack directly and gain from Kama 3. Um, as I said, Divine Wind to special summon one of these when I return with Harpy Dancer. Harpy's Hunter Brown as a way of MSTing, because I didn't have space for the MSTs to be honest. And back row isn't too bad for this because Epelio when attacking is not affected by other card effects, which means it doesn't isn't affected by Epelio either. So be careful, it's going to have 2,600 wh whatever it attacks, um, unless it, it's unless its effects are negated. Um, although I don't know if that would cause some kind of uh, it would be allowing it, but I don't think it would. Most likely it'll be a Phoenix Chained, so you then untarget it by getting rid of sorry, um, getting rid of just returning it back. Um, because when they targeted, they could just return. So bottomless is just a laugh to them, because they'll just return and then they won't lose anything. Um, as long as they have targets, I'll be special summoned. Then the me main card that you'll love to get is Steeds, destroying monsters on the opponent's side of the field for up to, and they can be chipped, and you can chain your monster. So it looked like one, and then switches to two. <laughs> so it, it depends on what you need, um, and very much. Also, Banish Fodder for the Apelion, and can be added with Connor Hawk. Uh, bottomless, Staple Trap, like Compulse, and Vanity, I would say, becoming a Staple Trap now, because it's like one, you'll be able to put in anything, and it won't really, it won't really take out a chunk, so you can run in anything, even if it's, even if it relies on Special Summoning, you could bring out one Vanity, just in case you're going against Necros, or Burning Abyss, so yeah. And Cavalry, which is DDR and Monster Reborn, DDR and Call the Haunted, not Monster Reborn, can't Reborn for your opponents, but uh, Call the Haunted and uh, DDR together, uh, special summoning two two monsters, and then you can fusion summon during your, your turn. Um, and then I've gone through Macrocosmos. Um, for fusions, uh, free Apelio is essential, free Conahog is also essential, free Pitolfin isn't essential, but Two would be a good estimate because one is for the Vampengu uh, to get rid of, and the second is is a defense against some of some very powerful monsters because they can't be destroyed by card effects. This one is unaffected, unaffected when attacking, and this one uh, returns to you a banished uh, Ritual Beast to the graveyard to add a Ritual Beast card from your deck. So it could be any of these Ritual Beast cards, um, and then to the Exceeds, Utopic Dragon, and C one C one hundred seven all to go together. That that's just a chunk together, and then the typical lightning Shidori, because it's amazing. Castell staple and Exiton staple. No one on one in this, unfortunately. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy the build. It's um, its main usage is to uh, uh special someone like Hell and just mind fuck to be honest. Um, and have a lot of uh draw adding power with this uh, so i hope you enjoyed this um, deck profile uh, please like and subscribe if you did for more content i'll be uploading some duels with that i've had with this um, so yeah matt durant uh, signing out